Hey Tube, welcome back. Today we talk about Loop Balancer. So a Loop Balancer is a device or software that distribute, uh, distributes network or application traffic across multiple servers. Its primary purpose is to enhance the performance, reliability, and scalability of, of, of applications by evenly distributing incoming requests. A Loop Balancer helps ensure that no single server bears too much load which can prevent server overload and improve user experience. So let's talk about what that means. So let's assume that we have a client. And uh, we have this client, okay. Yeah, let's make it white. And the client is connected with a server. And let's make this right as well. <coughs> and right now the client is sending a lot of requests to the server and the server can it cannot handle that, that, that many loads. The server, let's assume the server can handle only one request at a time and the client sends three requests. So what we should do, we can add more resources to the server. So we can add more CPU, can add more RAM. So we'll make the server handle, be able to handle three requests. But we will have some specific limitation at center point, at specific point, we cannot add like resources like infinitely. We have some limitations. We cannot add like just add RAM forever. You have some specific limitation. So what we should do in order to 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 solve this problem we can add more servers we can add more servers that could handle the incoming requests from the client okay so instead of one server we have three servers and right now we can handle nine requests at a time instead of three okay so a way to handle the increasing of load and increasing of requests, we can add multiple servers. Let's say that we have multiple clients. Oh, no. We have multiple clients, okay. And we have multiple servers. And how could we know which client should be which is server? So for example, if this client, let's call it the server one, and server zero, and server two, and client one, client zero, and client uh, two. Let's say that client zero was client one, and and client one was server two, and client two was server zero, and everything was good. Let's say that we assume magically they know how to communicate. Of course, this is not easy how how basically c2 uh, client 2 will be able to reach server 0 and okay when uh, server 0 is gone how so a client 2 will know that server 0 is gone so it will try to connect to a server 1 so we need to find a specific component that could distribute all the incoming requests from the client to all the servers so we will have what we call a load balancer it's basically balance the uh, the load so if we have multiple clients okay and we have no and we have multiple servers Let's say we have server two and we have server one. And right now the load balancer will distribute all the incoming requests that are coming from client zero, client one, and client two to a minute to server one and server two. And server three. And by this, 
we make sure that there is no server is overloaded with with, with requests and there is no uh, uh, server that is underloaded like the, it, we are distributing all the incoming requests evenly so again a load balancer is a device or a software that distributes all networks or application traffic across multiple servers okay as you can see here and its primary purpose is to enhance the performance reliability and scalability of applications by evenly distributed incoming requests and a load balancer helps ensure that no single server peers too much load which can prevent server overload and improve user experience so as we said right now we know how load balance works so the traffic we have first the traffic distribution um, when user requests come in the load balancer acts as a traffic cop directing requests to different servers in a way that balances the load among them this can be done using various algorithms such as round robin least connection or ip hash etc after that we have the health check so the load balancing continuously perform health check on servers to ensure that they are available and capable of handling requests if a server fails uh, fails a health check the load balancer stops sending traffic to it until it become healthy again so basically if server 2 is gone the load balancer will automatically know server 2 is gone so it will not send it to any request again and it try to send to server 1 and server 0 instead we have the reducing server load by spreading the traffic across multiple servers load balancer reduce the uh, uh, the burden on a single server preventing any one uh, any 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 one server from becoming a bottleneck so we make sure that all the all the servers will get exactly the same amount of requests based on their performance so we will not have any bottleneck and also handling a failover so in case of a fail uh, 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 server failure the load balancer automatically reroutes the traffic uh, to the available servers and this is uh, because of it can do health check so i guess you have a clear idea of what is a load balancer how it works let's talk about why we need it what we get the benefits from using all of that oh this is too big let's make it quite small and make it lift with numbers um the first thing that it's in terms of scalability can i take this one here so load balancers allow for easy scaling of applications as the traffic increases more servers can be added to the pool without disturbing uh, the service and um, also we have it's a great when it comes to redundancy and high availability let's make it like that so load balancers enhance the, uh, the reliability and availability of application they distribute the load uh, the load to prevent any single point of failure and ensure continuous service availability it's also great when it comes to performance imp uh, improvement so uh, by distributing the workload uh, evenly across servers load balancers help maintain optimal performance levels ensuring efficient handling of requests and faster response time uh, it's a great when it comes to flexibility and efficiency so load balancers can distribute the traffic based on various factors like server loads uh, geographical location on uh, of the server or uh, the type of content requested this flexibility allows for more efficient resources utilization uh, lastly we have um, maintenance and downtime management and uh, basically load balancers can redirect traffic away from servers that need maintenance or updating um, reducing downtime so in summary load balancers play a crucial role in modern network and web architecture particularly for high traffic websites large scale web servers and cloud-based applications they ensure that applications can handle large volumes of requests maintain high availability and performance and scale seamlessly as demand uh, as um, as demand so that's it for this video and i hope you like my content if you like my content make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video and see you in future problem